morning everyone so today we will come with a very exciting topic over the uh, sea level uh, rise okay so it's a effect of the climate change we all know and very recently if you know that uh, is free climate change mock is actually over so there uh, there is a very good topic i don't know how many people are actually did so many people may not uh, did that so for that i will just try to make uh, that a particular video on this particular exercise of the sea level rise and i hope this will be very useful for many organizations many different country peoples who are actually facing this particular uh, issues okay so let's start uh, with the demonstrations without wasting much time okay so let's start so let's open the arcgis pro and uh, you already have one data of the miami uh, it is a miami sea beach you see here this is the building layers which we have with us okay and uh, this is the base map which i just opened uh, over there okay so we are going to create a 3d buildings of from these particular layers so let's see so now as we've seen here that we have one building layer here so uh, let's see uh, just uh, see the attribute table to see if there is any height values there or not so so that we can convert it in a, in a 3d mode so but you see here we don't have any height informations in this particular place okay so uh, somehow we have to add some height value so then we can convert it in 3d so let's see how we're going to do that okay to opening in, uh, it in, uh, in uh, from this uh, 2d format to 3d format so there's a two options okay so either you can go in a view and from here you can convert it in a 3d scenes uh, local scenes or global scenes so you can go with the local scenes uh, or else you can go from here on the map also just right click go to the convert and you can open it in a local scene so this is also you can do so let's see how it will be converted in a local scene in 3d so now if you see here in the 2d we have uh, we are converting a 3d maps but still it is nothing is coming so first what you have to do you have to select it okay so once you select this building here so this feature layer will go to activate okay so now if you click on this feature layer tab so here you have our options to activate uh, the height informations which you can uh, include uh, over here okay so that is the process only we will going to do over this now okay so let's see how to going to do that so as you've seen here this is the exclusions groups okay so under this type if you go in a down arrow okay so here there is one options which is called as a choose as a base height so if you click this base height so now the base heights will going to add with this particular building layer okay so let's see how we're going to uh, see the 3d view now so what is the changes you feel you feel over here you know after this uh, things which we did here so you see here earlier it was in my 2d layer now uh, this uh, building 2d miami beach which is added in my 3d okay so now i will exaggerate the building according to the height information so to doing this you have you need to go for the exclusion so if you see here this is the uh, the the exclusion expressions builder okay so in the expressions builder uh, you can simply uh, type suppose 10 to exercise the building height okay so that's why i'm just giving uh, here as a 10 suppose okay so let's see how we are going to exercise this building so simply click on okay so let's wait for the results and see this is the results how it is coming out now uh, if you want to see the 3d view of this particular building so what you have to do in your mouse you have the wheel options will be nice so if you play press the wheel so this symbol will come okay so now slowly move down to the down so then you can able to see the 3d view over uh, your data sets okay now you see i will i will more zoom so that you can able to see the buildings so as of now if you see here this excluded buildings which is i'm giving as a 10 meter or about the 32 feet okay so which will be made all the buildings in, in these maps are actually same height okay so in arcgis pro we have this default exclusions we need for for the measurements in a meter so uh, if the layer had uh, defined the vertical uh, you can say the coordinate system then the default exclusions unit measurements would have been vertically unit or you can say on the data sources okay so uh, as in step in the steps with what we seen to excluded this building height of the 10 meter so creating this uh, 3d layer so however the building is actually the city is actually typically vary in a uh, in, in different height of the buildings okay so therefore we will going to create more accurate 3d model that will show 
uh, the varying heights of this building so then it will be more attractive presentations now so let's see how we're going to do that so to doing this uh, we have to add uh, some new value in the attribute table of this particular 2d building layer so for that uh, how we're going to join this so i will just simply go to the analysis tab okay go to the toolbox and here you can search a tool called join field Okay, so you see here now my join field tool uh, which came so this is the join field data management tool so let's see how we're going to use this particular tool. So, okay so we'll wait for uh, the tool will come so now in this join field we have to give the input of this particular building to the so so i'm just going to give that one and uh, for input uh, field we have to uh, so for let, let it be uh, upload so once it will upload you will get the uh, next information to drop down this unique field id new uh, input field you have to go in a drop down okay and then i'm just going to give this unique id okay for that and then next uh, the join table so this for this join table uh, we are already having one building uh, informations excel tables okay so that maybe it will go in a field accordingly each and every building heights uh, they will measure and they will create in this particular excel sheet suppose so that you have with you so i already have with that so i'm just going to select that particular uh, building height this excel okay as an input of this particular table so, so now my join field so the join field will be the unique uh, the same id field so this two id field will be common as we know that for the joining uh, which uh, there is a cardinality so there should be a one common field so here also we have the same id like unique id so on the basis of this i can able to join the two field so now uh, here the selected field transfer as you see in here so we we just um, uh, use the transfer field as the height okay because i am just uh, trying to add the height with uh, this particular attribute table okay so that's why i am just going to uh, click over this and now my uh, tables are ready so if you want to validate you can validate let's wait for that so for that just uh, simply need to click on the run. so let's click run and wait for the results now if you want to see the results so if you see here right click if you go in attribute table okay and in the attribute table now this height information is actually here okay now uh, the same process if you go here if you, this is in your feature layer okay so in the feature layer now uh in this exclusions groups as you've seen here so what we'll do we're going to change it to the absolute height so we can go and select it to the absolute height so let's see how the results will come we'll wait for the results so now uh, as i change it to the absolute height okay so now what we have to do so we need to click on this okay and we need to uh, remove these expressions so now on the basis of the height we want to see this information so, now. so you can uh, select the height from here okay and then simply click on ok so according to the height of this particular information the building layer will come up okay as you see here so buildings are uh, coming according to their height okay so uh, this is the first uh, steps which we've done and it is very interesting to see how nicely it is looking like so what we did we have now excluded the buildings with the different heights based on the value uh, that we are actually joined the table so the steps which is made uh, actually more accurate 3d models for the city so creating this accurate 3d models will be especially important when we will actually be use this model for the data visualizations and analysis okay now we are going for the exclusions techniques and uh, we will go for the symbology to creating it a more better way so now you see uh, this uh, uh, excluding our data sets so we this is a great way uh, to create this 3d to 2d okay data so how about these buildings are in the in our this map so 3d layer are actually shown with a, a flat roofs or you can say will not be ever every building is actually has the flat floor so to creating this 3d model of your city you can make it more accurate representations okay so including the roof shapes or realistic 3d representations can be combining this uh, multiple data sources like drone imageries aerial imageries and the building footprints so this multiple layer uh, is actually commonly uh, data types which is the 3d buildings uh, data we 
that okay so the multi patch layer uh, is actually the geometry type that is actually used to define the exterior uh, shell representations okay of the 3d objects so so arcgis solutions which is actually offer the 3d building solutions uh, which uh, is actually help the local government to combine the data to create this multi patch layer okay for this uh, exercise we are actually going to use now the multi patch layer uh, which has, has already been created uh, by us so that i'm going to use for this particular analysis okay so we are already created one bookmark so i'm just going to uh, navigate to the rooftop bookmarks okay so you see here now this is the rooftop bookmarks so let's go to the catalog find the folder table rise let's gdb okay so we have the data set so now i'm just uh, going to add this uh, building 3d yami beach layer and i'm going to add to this current map so let's wait for the results and uh, i will switch off uh, this 2d building maps and let's wait for the results so see uh, this is how the 3d building maps are going to add it to my map okay now if you want to change this 3d symbology so from uh, you need to select this map you can come to the feature layer click on the symbology so from this uh, symbology you can change the uh, field patterns like for that you can come to this uh, properties or uh, from there you can able to control this particular layer so for the layer control you need to come to select this layer so this is how uh, it is it will come so for uh, this is the material field which is already selected okay so uh, what we need to do we can change it uh, to uh, from this material fill to the producer okay so let's activate the producer fill okay so this is how i change in a producer fill so under this producer fill we have options to set the rule uh, for this uh, 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 producer fill so you can click over this rule so now uh, you need to have some textures which is already we have with us so now and uh, this is a building texture rpk files okay so if you have this building text files for your area so you can upload it for your buildings also so here uh, we have this rpk files okay so that we will going to select and then simply click on okay okay so we will upload this uh, rule over here let's now you see uh, now everything will come over here so you can adjust this account okay now uh, uh, we have this uh layer so using this rpk file symbology uh, or you can say uh, the buildings to achieve the more realistic appearance in our model okay so that's only we are going to adding these things to my map so to doing this you need to click on this apply so that it will going to apply it over your map so let's wait for the result so see this how this buildings are actually changing okay so how nicely uh, my buildings are actually created in a 3d model okay and it will be the more realistic as a 3d ct model so uh once you've done this you can save your project up to this okay so currently if you see your scene are actually uses this uh, world imagery based maps okay <clears throat> which is actually showcasing this uh, water surrounding the miami beach when we are updating this 3d model to the scene so we can add it uh the water feature layer and give us movement to the water as is opposed to um, a realistic image on the base maps okay so scene can also include the visual effect uh, which i already showed you in my previous video so like the illuminations with illuminations you can adjust the scenes according to the time or day shadows okay the ambient lights when you want the water features to enhance the 3d model so all these things you can do over this data sets okay so in this uh, uh, catalog window we have this uh, water body uh, layer will be there so i'm just uh, right click and add to the current map so this is the water layer which will be added to my map so now uh, if you want you can change the symbology for this water to some other uh, color also you can provide so to uh, giving it like a realistic water color so you can click on this symbology so symbology will come up so you can come in a gallery and you can search uh, some kind of uh, uh, you can say the 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 symbols which will be giving you more uh, realistic sea view okay so for that i am just typing like tropical tropical 
tropical water source. Enter. So you see, it's a tropical water. It will come. So now simply click on this uh, so that your uh, symbology of this is going to change. Okay, let's wait for that. You see the results now. It is going to change and it is giving you more uh, beauty, beautiful effect over the sea around your uh, the target area. Okay, so that is what we are actually getting over here. So this uh, you can adjust accordingly what you want. Okay, over the 3D scenes we can control. So as you've seen here, uh, this is the water body symbology. Okay, so under the symbology, here you have the water body size. Okay, so here if you want, you can change it uh, to the large or medium, whatever it will be, so that uh, you can adjust this. Okay, so uh, in a better way. So I guess I just make it as a large. Okay, and uh, if you want to click on apply, so you will see a uh, little bit of variations over see large. Uh, like water webs it, it will be looking very nice huh? so now we'll go for the next process so if you want to give the more effect so you can come in a view and see in the view we have a lot of uh, effect informations will be there so this is the illumination tabs which is already there so if you want to give the use the uh, the time date and illumination you want to give so that you can adjust uh, over here okay you just see here for daytime or night time so I can make it suppose uh, this is the uh, six o'clock. So how this is actually changing? Wow, it's, it's wonderful. Without doing any animations, you can able to control. See, we I I, I think it is added in two, three point two. Okay, so uh, that is a very nice features which you can use uh, for this particular time analysis. So I'm just uh, giving it here uh, as a six a.m. in the morning. So it will be uh, looking like this. Okay, or if you go for the six a.m. in the PM, so this will be like this. So uh, you can adjust it accordingly so that uh, it will be a very nice effect over your uh, the 3D image it will take. Okay, so let's see for the next step. So up to this, I just preparing my data sets as you see here. Okay, so we, if you want uh, satisfied with this, so you can simply save this project first. Okay, now we can move for the further analysis for the sea level rise.